This is one of my Alice Chalmers sycamores. This one is, uh, I think it's the second or next to last trailer model. I know the last, I think the last one, the tires were diagonally instead of straight across. But this is a Pittmanless mower. I took the end piece off because I have to replace that knife that's in the guard. And then a uh, previous owner added all this crap on there. And he put this jack on. I presume he did that so when he unhooked the trail, the mower, it didn't tip and put the cutter in the on the grass. I don't know. This one's got a shaft to power a uh, crimper, although it does not have a hitch on it. I suppose that would have bolted on somewhere somehow. I've used this several times. It cuts pretty good other than the end where the grass piles up. And uh, there is a little bit of leaking at the gearbox. However, the oil level stays stays good. I haven't had to add oil yet. But uh, I do have another older one that has the small wheels, but that one I haven't used yet. That's our 59D17. I think this is a Model 80T. I think 82T was the diagonal tires. But when I get that end fixed, I'm going to put this swat board on. This was the homemade one I've been using. I don't know, it might have originally had a wooden board. But when I get the end fixed, and uh, adjust the wheel bearings. Both of them have play. I got a couple of fields of grass and one field of alfalfa I'm going to cut down. And I'll try to get a video with that, of that in operation. And then if I get real ambitious, I'll get my roto baler out, fix a couple of the belts, replace some of the small springs, and I'll give that a try on some alfalfa, or grass at least. See, most of the videos with the roto balers, they show it baling like wheat straw or something like that. I'd like to see a video where it's actually baling green alfalfa. <laughs> but uh, stay tuned and hopefully I'll get some more videos put up yet this summer. Thank you.